this is me recording my voice for 10 minutes because of a short little thing I'm trying to make and I need some background noise with accelerated audio stuff that kind of sounds realistic um, so I'm recording this hopefully nobody slows it down and hopefully it's indiscernible but let's see blah 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 I could probably loop this sound recording around over and over again but to be honest I like talking I don't talk much I don't talk to many people but I like talking I talk to myself I sing to myself I make little ditties while I make roving food while I'm going to use the restroom when I can't find anything on TV when something isn't working when something is working when I'm happy when I'm sad when I'm anxious when I'm nervous uh, yeah, just all the time. I'm just singing all the time. I could probably come up with something right now. Let's see. Um, wasting away with nothing to say. A lot of time I'm just sad. But here is the day where I make something. Play. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Just something like that. But hopefully, I'm, I don't. I really don't know how much of this I'm going to have to record. Because I am going to have to fast forward this. So I may as well make it an hour and then just like, what? Like a hundred, no, like 500% this to where it just sounds like, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll just keep talking. Um, So right now I am in the process of making a song for a video I'm about to put up of today's walk. I got to check out a really cool bookstore, which is really nice. Cool bookstore. Very fucking organized, I gotta say. I've been in a lot of used bookstores. I was very, very fucking organized. Proud of the lady. But, uh, they, like, I, I'm, I'm really missing an occult bookstore. You know what I mean? An occult bookstore where it's just, like, weird shit. And not, like, weird shit, like... Ooh, look at this tarot card book. No, like weird shit. There was this bomb one in Los Angeles where I got this really neat book called Against Civilization. It was a combina- combination of short stories from like decades, hundreds of years. I mean, you get some from like, there was one called The Golden Feast from like 1600s. And then you get like new stuff. But they were categorized in like five different, five different volumes, like pre-society, the, the, the evolution of society, society, the collapse of society, and post-society civilization. So it was just like, it was like, a, it was really cool. A lot of the things, a lot of, and it was very formative. I think I was like 13 years old when I found it. And I've always been kind of like against everything. I've always felt like out of place or things aren't right. So finding the book was just like really fucking cool. I fucking ate it up. And then it just, I gave it to my son and just has me thinking that like, not that he doesn't value shit. It's just like his priorities are different. His way of thinking is different. The world as I know it is different. I grew up in like, you know, like I think I was born under Reagan yeah, 87 was Reagan, I think. And then there was Bush. We hated Bush. And then there was Clinton. Clinton was alright. When I was young, I, there was the whole, like, you know, whatever fuck name was, the fucking dress, head, whatever. And then there was all sorts of things. Small things started happening where people were becoming dissatisfied. The gas prices just skyrocketed after... I don't know if it was after 9-11 or before 9-11. Probably after 9-11, considering that we were starting to, like, fuck their shit up. You know, after, I don't know, Desert Storm or whatever the fuck happened there. I don't know. Just just a lot of things changed after 2001. I think I found this book maybe in 2000. Maybe I was 12. I used to walk around downtown a lot. 
downtown Los Angeles. I ran away once when I was 12. I ended up in Skid Row, tried to get picked up by a greasy white guy. I don't know. Ran away. I think I had like $5 in change. Walked around for hours. And then when I was out of money and my feet hurt and I had seen all the tents and scary people, I just came back home. There was an officer with my father and mother. I, he was literally saying, she'll be back soon to them as I walked in the door. So, yeah. The thing is that I left around noontime. I didn't get back until like 5, 6, maybe even 7 o'clock at night. And my parents had barely called the cops. <laughs> I'm just putting that together right now. Holy shit, I'm just putting that together right now. I really left around noontime. And they were probably like... I don't know, maybe they thought I went to the library or something. Because I would go to the library all the time. The library was, I don't know, it was kind of far. But it was still in downtown. <laughs> but for whatever reason... Apparently, I mean, I doubt the police officer stayed with my parents for five, six fucking hours. And I know it was early in the day because I had skipped school. I was sleeping in the car because I was still sleepy. And then I just decided to fuck off around noon. It was before lunch. Because I remember buying myself some snacks while I was walking around. And I remember the sun starting to set. And it was during the summertime. Well, maybe it wasn't during the summertime. Because in L.A. it's kind of like warm all the time. So maybe the sun was setting early. I don't, I don't really know. But the point is, <laughs> my, pro- my parents probably didn't even know I was, notice I was missing for hours. Uh, it's alright. My point was that on my many ventures into downtown Los Angeles, there's, there was this really a cult bookstore. I don't remember what it was now. I had subscribed to their newsletter for a few years before I changed my email address. Um, but yeah, they were really cool, really, like, taboo shit, lots of taboo shit, and this was back in, like, the early 2000s where it was still, like, taboo shit wasn't, and it wasn't, like, taboo shit, like, sexy stuff, it was just, like, taboo shit, like, rituals, satanic rituals, and, you know, like, like, really occult shit, not, like, or the esoteric shit, not like the sugar-coated fucking watered-down version that, like, we see today. Like, back when the internet was new in the early 2000s, you could stumble on some pretty fucked-up websites. I remember one website I saw. I don't even remember how I stumbled on it because I never had an eating disorder. I've always loved food. Me and food always got along. I always maintained weight. I mean, it was a healthy, aw, look, I'm fat, you know, when you're not fat. But, like, but there was one website that was, like... It was just telling you, like, how to not eat and just, like, emaciated women. It was really fucked up. There's one where they would, like, grow cats in vases and their bones would would get all deformed. It was really fucked up. I got really... And there was, like, certain websites where there was just tragic fucking accidents that people would record. Dismemberings and beheadings. It was really fucked up. So, like... Everybody wants, like, their kids to be safe online and all that shit. But, like, to be honest, the internet was... I mean, and I'm sure you could find those things now. But at least they come with, like, an advertisement or advertise Or, not, or a, a warning. It's like, are you over 18? You know, graphic content. You know, everything's kind of censored now. I mean, I never really thought of it that way, but... It's kind of fucking censored. But, um... But, yeah. It was really fucking interesting. I miss bookstores like that. But then I wonder if that's just, like... A big... City type thing. Right now I'm living with, like, half a million people. You know? What? Like, 30? No, 15 square miles or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. You know, California, or Los Angeles is, like, millions of people. But, um, but yeah. 
So it's some pretty fucked up shit. But there's also like, you know, like sad beauty in 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 early two thousands. LA, you know, there's still the flower vendors on the side. I mean, and I'm sure it's still there. You know, the cotton co- corn vendors. You know, what else? I don't know, the ice cream trucks. I haven't heard an ice cream truck in fucking forever. I mean, right now we have quarantine and all that. So it's just like, of course, you know, nobody wants to buy something out of a car. You know, you know what I mean? But like back then, it was, just, I don't know. I don't think we'll ever get back to pre. I don't want to say that. I don't want to seem so... I don't know. I think I've made a podcast about this. That it was kind of like... Back in like 2001 when the World Trade Center happened. The world changed. You know, TSA and all that shit. And then it changed my life forever. And I was just, what? 12 years old? And my son's 14 years old. And coronavirus happens. And things are changing. You know, like, are we, like, prone to making the same mistake every fucking decade? Like, everybody's like, oh, yeah, look back at your mistakes. You're bound to repeat them. Like, is it every decade that we have to go through this big upheaval and change in just society? But then again, if we didn't, would we become too complacent or too rebellious at things? Like, is this just another way to... that? The cur- that current society placates itself redirecting attention I really don't know I really don't know I don't even know if I'm going to use this audio maybe I'll just make this podcast I like this this is like a, this is a um, no stress podcast because I could talk about whatever the fuck I want because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use this as a podcast I don't, I don't know I might but anyway that's pretty much it. I got to work on a song. I got one scene down. There's seven scenes. And I thought about this when I didn't sleep all night a few nights ago. And I um, started writing it. I was halfway done. No, two-thirds of the way done. And this motherfucker... It's six in the 6.30 in the goddamn fucking morning. And this fucking motherfucker... I won't name names. I mean, I like him. I just don't... Okay. One thing about me. When I'm doing my creative process... You don't fucking interrupt me. I split up with my last long-time boyfriend. Probably one of the most important relationships I've been in... In the last five years. Because he would come in and check on me when I was fucking writing. And be like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm writing. I was like, what are you writing? The same thing I was fucking writing five years, like five, 15 minutes ago. Leave me alone. I mean, I wouldn't tell him like that. I'm like, babe, you know, I'm just working on the same stuff. He's like, are you going to watch TV with me? I'm like, no, not right now. Give me like an hour. And like 15 minutes later, not a fucking hour, he would come in and be like, Kate, what are you doing? And like sometimes he would just do it to fuck with me, I think. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe the guy was fucking needy. I was talking about that with a friend. With a friend, um was like two days ago it's like when you're young love is so easy you're both fucking needy you both want to do fucking everything together and then when you get older it's just like fuck man like i just want companionship and for you to leave me alone once in a fucking while you know and then mutually agree when we could come together and spend some fucking time and like maybe bone you know it's not that fucking hard but like when you're young it's just kind of like love 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 and i'm not saying i wouldn't want to talk to somebody every day if i lived with somebody it would be great i have a, like two people like well I, I would have i have a few people that i would love to spend every day with just not all over their shit you know what i mean just like you do you you do me we're still you know i mean we're fucking living together i don't know but i i think after my last relationship my last relationship and a few heartbreaks that I've had over the last few years. I'm just kind of done with love. Love is just kind of fucking overrated. It's like, what do you get? Like, honestly, what the fuck do you get? You get somebody that doesn't want to watch the same shit as you. But because they love you, they do. I have a really, really big fixation on fucking sci-fi. I watch anything sci-fi. 
anything technology related, anything alien related, anything future related, dystopia, just give me like alternative fucking timeline here. Like I'll watch it. Usually, I, not usually, I don't know. Well, I've not, I haven't been with anybody that likes sci-fi as much as I do. Honestly, I don't know, maybe, have I? Maybe, I don't, I'm, I'm really not sure, honestly, now that I think about it. But, you know, you get the, the average guy. Like, the last person I fell for was like an average fucking guy. Like, wrestling, football, sports. You know, it's just, it's just kind of like, ugh. I fucking hate sports. Like, I, I, like I've said, rugby is, I mean, I don't understand it, but I'll watch it for like the aesthetic. <laughs> for, <laughs> for the butts, the very firm butts and tight shorts. The scrimmages, basically. Lots of men just, ugh. Sexy. But then, like, with football, they're all, like, padded up. And then, like, I never... I don't have a thing for tall guys, so basketball's out of the question. Uh, soccer's kind of fun. It's a world sport, so I respect it. Like, all countries play fucking soccer. You know what I mean? Or most countries play fucking soccer. It's everywhere. So I just respect that. Uh, let's see. Hockey. Hockey's fun to watch because there's fights. And it's usually because they get pissed off, which is fun to watch. I still don't understand a lot of it, though. I mean, I understand it. I understand the rules. I, basically, I can give any sport a shot if, like, somebody next to me doesn't mind me asking, like, a million fucking questions. Then I'll try to follow it along. I'm a good, I'm a good sport. I don't like sports, but I'm a good sport. Like, I'll try. But, um, yeah. I forgot what my point was. Oh, yeah, I love being overrated. Yeah. So you don't really want, and you don't fucking, you have to like have dinner ready or decide what you're going to have for dinner together, eat together, like go to sleep when they want to go to sleep or want them to go to sleep when you want to go to sleep. You know, it's just like, fuck, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm like a fucking toddler. I'm just going to like run out of energy and then I'm just going to like flop over and go to sleep. Like, I'm not going to be like... Ooh, it's 8 o'clock. Let's do our calm down routine. No, that's just not how I work. And I've been in recovery and sobriety for a bit now. So, like, I know my, like, calming techniques and having a cup of tea and turning everything off and putting on soft music. I understand that. But I do that at varying times of the day, one of the, of the night. And sometimes I take day naps, like a fucking toddler. But, like, I'm I'm not going to, like... I don't know. I guess but I mean, there are some things that are nice. It's nice when they come home from work and you've been bored all day. But I think that's strictly a woman thing. You know, a, well, a lazy woman thing. A woman that doesn't work, which is what I am. Um, at least not in the the regular sense that, I, you know, that I work. I do work. I, I work-ish. I do things that I consider work. But anyway, love is... Well, relationships are overrated. I think love is awesome. I think maybe that's where I, I'm going with that. Love is awesome. You fall in love, they're your muse, you want to write them sonnets, fucking, <laughs> fucking <laughs> iambic pentameter and their asses, but like, no, like, yeah, no, I guess it's, I guess it's pretty nice. But relationships suck. I was in one relationship that was long distance, and I really didn't pay as much attention to it as I should have. I didn't take it as seriously. It was my first long distance relationship. But looking back on it, that could have been fucking A awesome. You know what I mean? Live my life, do my thing, make my own money, spend my own money, do whatever the fuck I want, see them once a month, bang. Like, be totally fucking in love, spend the weekend, and then back to my place. It would have been awesome, honestly, if I had made it work. But I was just, I was a lot of things back then. I was like three, four years ago now. And I still hold on to some things, some relationships, but in the end, it's just really nice to be alone. Like, like today and yesterday, I've been working on this stupid little short film that I want to do. And it's, it really has no content. It doesn't have like, I don't know, I don't think it has one. But it's like open-ended. It could be five minutes, I can make it 30 minutes. 
it just depends where I want to go with it. It's kind of like monologue and like has one one set. It's not all over the place. It's just one set, which is like my my backyard, just different angles. I guess I'm working on it. It's going to be a pain in the ass to upload though. I'm sorry, not upload uh da- uh download save on my computer. I tried doing the first scene because I I'm putting a shit ton of fucking effects. And not effects like little planes overhead and like bombs. No, no. I just mean like the sky is basically just a different background. And it's been working the last few days because it's been clear blue skies. So I got a blue sky background that I could just delete and just add an, add a add a background, which is really nice. So it looks kind of creepy and cool. But then I've I've uploaded lots of filters and like different different effects and you know, little objects and stuff, but we'll see how it goes. I'm waiting for the sun to set. I think I got a good angle. Um, I got a good angle. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, let's see how long I've been talking. 20 minutes. If I speed up 20 minutes, I think if I speed up 20 minutes four times, that's five minutes and then I could loop it and it's enough variation. Although my voice is very monotonous sometimes. I wonder what's wrong with me. Yeah, I think I can make this work. Alright, love you. Wonderful, wonderful Sarah that's not going to listen to it. Or, I don't know why I said I love you. But I do love myself and I'm talking to myself, so I'll just roll with it.